Right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the second part of this show. And we start with Hammer to K1. So once again, please, would you welcome both our fighters to the cage? Alana Sheridan! 
Your referee for this one, Mr. Andrew Nichols. KO Next Generation against the Fighting Tigers. Out of the red corner representing KO, Alana Sheridan wearing the white trunks with the black trim. Facing off against Jemima Beal in the blue corner out of the Fighting Tigers wearing those white and maroon trunks. Beautiful teeth there, up stairs, and a surprise strike sees Jamal Mabil hit the clinch. Jamal Mabil's got some excellent flexibility, and she retains the power of that flexibility. But single kicks, and certainly her opponent, Sheridan, looking to try and box and counter. Interesting feeling out process between these two, but certainly no hesitancy whatsoever to engage. Beal goes low again. Nice check and return from Sheridan. Jemima looking for the leg. She's backing up and she's trying to draw Alana in. Hey, there's the tape. Beal with excellent leg dexterity, showing tons of flexibility and more importantly, accuracy with that power. Sheridan with a little bit of a quick equipment check and also a warning, of course, about excessive clinching. Under K1 rules here tonight. Women's straw weight division. The action rolls on at Lion Fighting Championships. Presented to you live on Fight TV. Chris Hookstra along with the team in at for the call. And Beal cracks home again. What a connection there from Beal. The teeth, that push kick, man. She is on target. And more importantly, throwing hell for Leather Dean. Jemima Bill thundering those kicks in. She's worked on the right hook and she's look, looking for the left hook right hand combination, so watch out for that. She's using that teeth beautifully, Chris. Sheridan, though, staying tucked up, trying to keep the guard, looking for the kick catch. But she has tasted the soles of Jemima Beal's feet on more than one occasion. Up goes Beal again. That's considered disrespectful in Muay Thai, but in K1, anything goes, baby. Jemima Bell now on the outside with a nice high guard. She's really aware of the power strikes from Alana. She's waiting on the outside. This is what I love. Even though it's a K1 matchup, Chris, it's kind of like a Muay Thai feel. They're feeling each other out. It's tick for tat, and then they explode. Well, folks, that's your ticket money right there. Plenty of action through and through. Feel trying to assert her dominance from the outset. Sheridan making some adjustments. I think that was probably Feel's round in the end, though, with those significant strikes. Jemima Bill did a great job of bringing the fight to Alana. She with that beautiful teeth. I think that was the key. It landed to the face and to the body. She's got distance and control, and she's got really powerful hooks. I'd like to see Alana throw some more combinations, Chris. Try and cut Bill off. Well, folks, we should be set for another thrilling round here of action at LFC. Round two coming your way. So, round two of a schedule three. Andrew Nichols in charge here. As the door closes, Beal facing off against Sheridan. And what an opening round, Dean, it was. It'll be very interesting to see whether or not there's a slight change in tactics. Beal going back to the kicking game. Sheridan pressing forward, looking to set up those hands. Alana looking for the knees on the inside, but in that mid to long range, She's struggling to turn her hips over. She'll fire out that kick, and she'll kick it almost like a footballer would kick a football. She needs to make sure her hips are engaged and they follow all the way through with the strike. And very interesting to see her using that tie hop, that footwork coming forward. One leg up, then the next. Beal happy to stand planted. Looking to obviously land that kind of strike off that forward motion. Excessive punching again here. Nichols separating both athletes. Beal a little bit more patient than we saw compared to the first stanza. Sheridan's still in this fight. Beal a bit more patient, like you said, because she's trying to draw Alana in. But this is what Alana needs to do more of. Really swarm in on Beal and smother her work. Beautiful connection there from Sheridan. Sheridan with a kick to the legs. Sheridan going to the midsection. Sheridan unloading combinations, looking to weave magic here in center ring. Pressing forward. Beal backs off. Beal looking to try and cover up here. 
She's got to get back to the mobility that earned her some of those solid strikes in the first frame. Alana's corner are beckoning her on. They want her to keep going forward, keep striking, and back Beal up. And the big question would be here, Beal at a reach disadvantage, certainly using those very nice snappy kicks, but getting bullied around a little bit, courtesy of Alana Sheridan. And this is exactly what Alana needs to do. She's frustrating to it, and she's smuggling her work. You can see, Bill, she just shook her head there because Alana accidentally hit her off after the clinch, but she's, she's really struggling to find a way, to find an answer for this Alana striking. It's very interesting for me to see how the tides have turned. On one hand, I think Sheridan was caught out a little bit by surprise. That being said, she came back and made some necessary adjustments here in the second. Jemima needs to make sure she's cutting angles and not being allowed to be backed up against the cage. And the affordance of fighting in this cage is when you get stuck up against it, you're going to eat a lot of shots and then the knees on the end. Alana's doing a great job of turning up the volume. She's listening to her coaches and they're beckoning her forward and she's doing just that. Final round here at LFC, a touch of gloves. Certainly plenty of sportsmanship and mutual respect there, Dean. But neither fighter holding back whatsoever as we kick things off in the third. And Alana's doing a great job firing. I love the way she storms in. As soon as Jemima moves, it's like a gun's gone off for a sprinter. And she's in there, landing punches and kicks. And again, the blitz from Sheridan. Sheridan looking for the clinch, punching on the exit. She's got to make sure she makes those breaks clean. Referee Andrew Nichols having warned her once or twice. Both fighters separate, move to the middle of space. Beal looking up. to load up on the kicks. Single kick by Beal, catch by Sheridan. Lana's left eye looks like it's starting to swell up here to see if Jemima's gonna, gonna target that. And I think it's safe to say that we probably have this one even going into the final round as the action goes up a notch. Both fighters pouring gasoline on the fire. Alana's storming forward, Chris, and a nice kick on the outside. Beautiful measure. I love the way Alana's switched up now. She's keeping the pressure on. And Sheridan back in this contest more than ever before, but Beal backing off, looking for that magical kicks that she landed so beautifully in the first. It's very tough when you're on the back foot to get set up, but Beal's doing the best she can given the limited space. Alana's using her footwork to cut her off. See there, she just skipped to the left side. She'll cut Jemima off and use the cage to pin her down. And again, Beal cracks on with a low kick. That's much better for Beal. She's got to set those up. Beal gets tagged. Sheridan presses forward. Swing and a miss. Sheridan connects to the body. Blocked by Beal. Both women kicking. What a fight tonight. Nice team from Bill there, but she's doing it as she's going backwards. Limits the power and it messes with your balance a little bit. You can see there, look, Alana's doing a great job of forcing her backwards, and Bill just doesn't have time to implement her own strikes. And an incredible fight, a fight where we saw both women evolve, change, make adjustments, stress the defensive systems of each other, and more importantly, Dean, give us three thrilling rounds here of K1 Rules action. From such young ladies at Strawway, I mean, this fight has been beautiful. An absolute feast of strikes and game plan. And what I love the most, what stuck out to me, Chris, was Alana's ability to utilize her surroundings, the cage, to get through this fight. Well, we go to the judges' scorecards here tonight at LFC. And the ring certainly set alight tonight by two talented individuals, but there can only be one. We'll go the distance tonight. Malcolm Martin makes it all official momentarily here at Lion Fighting Championship.
And ladies and gentlemen, what an absolute war. Please, let's hear it for both ladies in the cage after three hard, hard rounds. And these warriors have taken us to a split decision. And that decision is in favor of the blue corner, Jemima Beale.